Okay then, pilots and ground crew, the uh, Mark III with the narrower arms, remember? <laughs> uh, once again, I'll leave a link in the description, but it's time to give her a, a test flight. But first of all, we have to get her put together. So, yes, this will be a build video, but it'll be just a jump shot cut. It should only last a couple of minutes or so, and we'll get her into the air and uh, get her built. And in case you was wondering, it's just four screws and the top comes off completely and then you can work on it. Okay then, but before we get started on the frame itself, the first thing I want to do is uh, connect the motors up to the ESCs and uh, then start to get things mounted. Okay, first jump shot. Right then, uh, as you can see hopefully, yeah, I'm using the SpedX. 25 amp ESC is rated from 2 to 4 cell right? and uh, I've gone for separate ESCs because I've had one or two problems with 4 in 1 ESCs of late and I don't happen to have any at the moment and I'm not going to buy another one especially when I've got uh, plenty of these so first job I'm going to do is just uh, tin up the pads Right, the motors I'm using, I'm using these uh, Emax race spec jobbies, right, uh, 2205s, 2300 kVs, bloody good motors they are, I like them, and uh, they really do uh, help with your batteries, because uh, I've done a review of these, if I remember I'll leave a link, but uh, I've also done a review of these, <laughs> but uh, they're one of the most efficient motors, not one of the best, but one of the most efficient. Right, so uh, let's just get them soldered up to the uh, ESCs. I'll do one and then we'll do a jump shot. And a lot of people are saying, you do that weird way around, don't you George? Yeah, I do sometimes. There we go then, all soldered up and everything, uh, and just sum up for new pilots, a lot of people do this and a lot of people don't do it, right, but I always, on your solder connection, I always put a bit of that uh, waterproof conformal coating on, and then I put a little bit of heat shrink over the top. Uh, I don't always do that, right, but uh, a lot of the time I do. Right, it's just a little bit of extra protection and that never hurts, right. <coughs> Uh, I've got all four motors on, got them taped up. Yes, these need all trimming down and everything, but I ain't got the board in yet. And uh, at the moment, I just put two screws in, just in case I have to wiggle them about a little bit and stuff. Oh, just in case you wondered what that was, little tip for your new pilots. When you use your screwdriver, get a tiny little magnet like that, just plonk it on your screwdriver, so when you have to pick up your screws or whatever, they don't fall off. Right, just in case you was interested, I'm using the D DYS F4 flight control board. Right, I've used this on a few, well I've used one of these a few times and I quite like them. So uh, yeah, so let's get it all tinned up and everything. Which will be a bit boring again, so I think, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to tin this up, so another jump shot. <clears throat> right, well, that's the back all soldered up. And uh, now we've got the front to solder up. And then obviously the camera and stuff like that. So I uh, just thought I'd stop here and show you. I've tried to keep it as neat as possible, so that when that goes on, the wires will be more hid away. But uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that bit there. So carry on right then pilots and ground crew no it's not finished i just set that on to make sure it goes around the wires okay and everything now at this stage uh, i recommend before doing anything else just check you haven't got any cross wires and the easiest way to check first of all right before you get your multimeter out is make sure if you've got a smoke stopper any type all right, and uh, plug it in, plug a battery in, and see what happens. On this one, if this light comes on, all right, if the light goes red, basically, 
there's a cross wire somewhere right, and then I'll get the multimeter out so I'll try and keep that in shot and hopefully no red light No, ESC's beeped fan, lights on the flight control board came on fan and no red light on the smoke stopper so we know we're okay <coughs> right I'll just show you what I've had to do with a buzzer because uh, getting everything in it's gonna be a little bit tight because even with a frame here I've had to put uh, the capacitor hope you can see that right underneath in there right and wired it through show you that way if I get it in shot you might see it in there under there and uh, wired it through because there's not a lot of room I was hoping to get the buzzer in there but there's just not enough room for the buzzer in there <coughs> it's just fine there's still plenty of room on the stack so what I've done is uh, on the top part all right well you can see there I've just uh, mounted the buzzer underneath all right it'll be out the road and I can get out the button to turn it off but uh, you'll never, well you'll see it, but you won't exactly see it, see it. Just put uh, <clears throat> a couple of uh, zip ties to hold it in place, a little bit of uh, double sided uh, M3 tape. And I've just put a little bit of the, uh, the little mount there, a bit of padding mount, just to, just to protect it a little bit. Right, putting the camera in now, and I've got the Foxy uh, Mini Monster the Foxy and Monster, the Mini, and I got the uh, wide lens, the big lens, the uh, 2.5 is it? I can't remember now, but uh, it should say on there, nope, but uh, yeah, so this is the one I picked up, the Foxy Monster, Foxy, -er. all right, it's 16 by 9 wide, wide screen, and uh, you get a load of little bits and pieces but that ain't what this video is about I just thought I'd show you which camera I'm putting in and obviously I've got a black one to go with the theme of things right let's get this whacked in then uh, jump cut right uh, just thought I'd show you what stage I'm at I've uh, got camera in all ready to go I've already told you about the buzzer I've got the buzzer, the wires, got it all soldered up, ready to connect up for the buzzer. The camera soldered up, VTX in, uh, receiver on top. So all I've got to do now is mount these uh, antennas. Not exactly like that, but uh, mount the antennas and uh, plug in the camera and then uh, do the software. So uh, I'll show you it put together right at the end and uh, then we'll probably just cut straight to the flight okay then uh, jump shot there you go then pilots and ground crew sorry if this is a bit shaky i've got it in my hand at this point but uh yeah she's all put together she's all ready for a maiden i'm just going to take her out now actually but uh, i thought i'd show you a one piece just in case she falls to bits uh, when i crash oh if you're interested the camera by the way all right which i've already told you about these metal uh, aluminium bars to, to protect it, they do not show up actually uh, on the camera as you're looking through because obviously I've tested the VTX right? and it's completely protected. If I show you that way, the camera is just below, just below the aluminium bar. And soon as I mentioned the VTX, right, uh, that video, well my last video I did uh, about the speedy b vtx slash dvr i was so happy with the footage okay it's not gopro quality but uh, i'm not a professional pilot but i was so happy with the footage uh, i put it on here because uh, i thought yeah it'll do nicely in there and that's why i popped it in there okay then uh, pilots and ground crew let's uh, get her into the air and give her a rip which will be a nice gentle flight by the way remember maiden don't want to be pushing it too fast
It's another 